How are you, grade 6 learners? This is week 8. Problem solving involving division of decimal numbers and money. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Again, one thing that you must consider in solving routine and non-routine problems are the different steps in solving it. If you fail to solve it for the first time, don't worry. There is always a second time. Your life won't stop there if you failed to do most of it. Learning Task 1 Read and analyze the given problem. Salima bought 6 t-shirts and 4 pairs of pants for 5,000 pesos. If the t-shirts cost 250 pesos each, find the cost of each pair of pants. What is asked? What are given? What operation will be used? What is the number sentence? Five. What is the answer to the problem? Using this mathematical sentence, let's find out what is the answer. 6 times 250 equals 1,500. Subtracted from 5,000 pesos equals 3,500 pesos. Divided by 4 equals 875. The answer is 875 pesos. In solving routine and non-routine problems, follow the following steps. Step 1. Understand and analyze the problem. 2. Determine the given data facts. 3. Identify the operation to be used to solve the problem. 4. Step. Write the number sentence and solve. Step 5. Check your answer, review, and look back if the answer satisfies the problem. Learning Task 2. Solve the following problem. Number 1. Mang Simon has 1,548 eggs to be delivered to the Sarisari store. If the eggs are to be placed in small trays with 12 eggs each, how many trays will be needed. We need to divide 1,548 and 12. And the answer is 129. 129 trays. Number 2. Mang Carlos has 10 and 5 tenths hectares of land. He wants to divide it into 1 and 5 tenths hectares each for his sons. How many sons does Mang Carlos have? Let's divide 10 and 5 tenths divided by 1 and 5 tenths. The answer is 7. 7 sons. Number 3. Amy bought 9 and 8 tenths meters of Gina satin cloth. One tip of the cloth was damaged by rats and the rest was used to make seven similar blouses. How much cloth did she use for each blouse? Let's divide first. 9 and 8 tenths divided by 5. And that is 1 and 96 hundreds. Subtracted from 9 and 8 tenths. 7 and 84 hundreds. Then divided by 7. 1 and 12 hundreds. If she sold its blouse for 178 pesos and 25 centavos, 
how much money would she receive in all? Let's multiply 1 and 12 hundreds times 178 pesos and 25 centavos. The answer is 1,247 pesos and 15 centavos. Learning task 3. Solve the following problems. Number 1. Every Sunday, JB carries water for fish vendors at 22 pesos and 50 centavos per pail. How many pails of water did he carry if he earned 382 pesos and 50 centavos on a Sunday? Let's divide 382 pesos and 50 centavos divided by 22 pesos and 50 centavos. And the answer is 17. 17 pails. Number 2. Ray has 21 and 2,500 kilograms of coffee. He wants to put 2,500 kilograms of coffee per bag. How many bags does he need? To solve this problem, let's divide 21 and 2,500 divided by 2,500. And that is 85. 85 bags. Number 3. Gwen has four times as much money as her sister. If Gwen has 604 pesos and 80 centavos, how much money does her sister have? Let's divide 604 pesos and 80 centavos divided by 4. And that is 151 pesos and 20 centavos. Number 4. Joy is planning to buy a new cell phone worth 14,552 pesos and 75 centavos. She tries to save 582 pesos and 11 centavos a week from her allowance. How many weeks will it take her to save the amount enough to buy the cell phone? To solve this, let's divide. And the answer is 25. 25 weeks. 5. Yesterday, Sally took a trip to visit some family. She covered a total of 135 and 7500 miles without making any stops along the way. And it took her exactly 1 and 2500 hours to arrive at her destination. At what average speed did she arrive? To solve this, let's divide. And the answer is 108 and 6 tenths miles per hour. Learning task 4. Identify the following word problems below as A. Routine B. Non-routine C. Multi-step routine D. Multi-step non-routine 1. Jenny saves 107 pesos and 65 centavos a week. How long will it take her to save 1,614 pesos and 75 centavos? Number 2. The product of two numbers is 132. If one factor is 6, what is the other factor? Number 3. I am thinking of a number. Raise my number minus 4 equals 44. What is my number? Number 4. There are 20 girls, 19 boys who will equally share the expenses for a bus trip that cost 4,504 pesos and 50 centavos. How much will it pay? Five, Lay has a necklace eight and three tenths grams, a ring six and five tenths grams, a bracelet ten grams, and an earring five and five tenths grams. 
if she sold this to an amount of 15,300 pesos, how much does each gram cost? 